A 35-year-old mother of three, a lady called Claire, recently gave up her job as a hotel cleaner to start her own cleaning business, where she now charges up to £95 an hour. That's around $120, and that's pretty steep for a cleaner. But her pricing structure is based on what she's wearing, or rather what she isn't, because for £95, she will clean her customers' homes stark naked. Even then, though, 95 quid seems a bit steep. Mid-30s with three kids, not going to be pristine, is it? But the people I feel sorry for are actually her children. Because, you know, one of them will be at school and another child will ask, what does your mummy do for a living? Oh, she cleans people's houses whilst flashing her gash at local perverts. Now, Claire insists there will be no what she calls funny business, so no touching photographs or extras. And that got me thinking, what sort of bloke would hire her? I mean, they'd be single, they'd be extremely single. But who is willing to spend £95 to sit there with a raging hard-on looking at a woman that they can't touch? I mean, surely, if you're that desperate to see a naked female, clean the house yourself and go to a lap dancing club. Other than that, you could also hire an escort. I don't know how much they cost. That was something I wasn't willing to look into. I didn't want to have to say to Mrs Disgruntled, I'm just going out now to talk to some whores. Or drive around the local red light district and say, excuse me, love, how much do you charge an hour? Oh, you're an undercover policewoman. Well, don't worry, this is research for a fantastically unsuccessful YouTube channel. But I know some guys are into French maids and the like, and I thought it must be the, the power dynamic. So it got me wondering, are there blokes out there who are really into cleaners? And now if you're watching this and you are a cleaner, I advise you switch off now, because I went online and very quickly went down the fucking rabbit hole. There's stuff I've read in blogs and on message boards that makes me want to burn my clothes and scrub myself down with bleach and a wire brush. So here's a flavour of it. One guy has said, I can't believe how sexy... That's how he sounds, I imagine. I can't believe how sexy my cleaner is. She's bought the new Dyson. This guy seems to be more into the vacuum cleaner than the woman using it. I mean, I can imagine him walking about in his shabby raincoat getting aroused in Dixon's. Oh, the new Vax cordless upright, you fucking slut. There's another guy who took great pleasure in explaining that he likes to leave loads of shit stains around the bowl of the toilet so that the bitch has to scrub them. And this is the light end of it. Down the other end, there's one guy who likes to jerk off just before his cleaner gets there so he can smear his jizz over the door handles because she's got to touch them. And another guy who says the night before his cleaner comes round, he wanks onto his glass coffee table so in the morning it's just a dried stain. Now, I've never hired a cleaner, but I never thought, if I do get a cleaner, I'd better make sure that I come over everything before they get there. Now, I've never hired a cleaner for two reasons. Firstly, if I had a cleaner coming round, I would clean the house top to bottom, so it would be spotless and there would no, be no point in employing them. The other reason is I clean my own house because I'm not a lazy fucker.